a picture and you've got a tough one here. Yeah. 0.7139 divided by a thousand. What are you going to do to try and work this one out? Uh, this is very hard. Um, I don't really know. How about we write it down on the, the whiteboard here? Uh, under each other? Or just, put it, just write that one exactly like this. Okay. Zero. One. 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 How many zeros are in that thousand? Three. So what are we going to do with this decimal? You have to move it left three times, but like there's no more than zeros. So what about we go do, do an arrow, do a jump, so like one, and then two, and then three. One, one. two. Okay, now put a little decimal point there. Okay. Now in front of the decimal we normally put a zero, because yeah. there's no whole numbers, and put in those gaps with zeros. Oh! Now, hang on, you probably put too many in there. Just rub that one out there, Dal. And the reason is because you've actually done one, two, three. Okay. okay so you've actually jumped three, so, so try zero. typing that one out. See if that works. So I like the way you're using the whiteboard to help you work it out. I need help. I don't get I don't get how this makes sense. If if it says six, right? Yeah. I put six and it says seven. Okay. And if I go to six, it says six. Okay, so this one here is saying 6.48 or yes. 6 and 48 hundredths. And this, one? this one's saying 6 and Seven. 77 hundredths. Oh, the, okay. The, so you have to try making it as close as you can to the next number. Yeah, so the whole number, the whole number is like, like having a whole pizza. You're having six whole pizzas yeah. and there's 77 slices left out of, oh, out of 100. So all you're doing, look at the whole number first, okay. and then look at the very next place value, which is in the tenths. Yeah, the tenths. If that is bigger than, if it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you, have to you add, add one on. Okay. If it's, if it's, if that was a five, oh, if that was a four, six point four seven. You still just look at the tenth place, then. and it just stays the same six. Okay. Try another one. You get it all right, Petra? Yes. Right. Mm. I put two because it's on 92. Okay, so the and two. And it's on like 97 or 99. No, it's high you have to add two. Yes. Do you remember what I said? Now it's seven, eight. Remember when I told you if it's five or over five, you have to add one to the middle? again because there's two zeros so what I've basically done is I have this and then and if, I'm, if I'm looking at that hand you've got look at that you've actually jumped you got to when you do your decimal you actually just have to jump one digit that would be one two but you jump four digits so it's going to be there 
be. And then it's going to be zero. So it's going to be zero and that. That's the one. Okay. Hey, try another one. And then the decimal just one, yep. Two. And put the decimal where that where you landed and put a and put a zero in front of it. And then, and then get rid of that and that's two, zero, one, two, Good. So what do you think you do for a thousand? Um, How many jumps to the left? Eight out of ten. What percent is that? Eighty percent. Good work. What do you have to do for this one? I need to find out the nearest whole number. Uh, Which one's the whole number? Ah, good thinking. Oh, you're an expert, huh? Start, can I go to the test?